On today's video, we're gonna be knocking out a hot and fast brisket on the Oklahoma Joe Drum Smoker. Hey, what's up everybody? If you love to grill and barbecue, then this is the channel for you. Subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss a thing because on today's video, it's part two of the Oklahoma Joe Drum Smoker. And guess what? It looks like we're gonna be doing a giveaway. So if you want to win, make sure to comment below, pick me, because you never know, we just might. And to the fella that made the comment about uh, all the drums that Pit Barrel has given me, I sell them in my store and I sell a bunch of them. So before you question my loyalty, do your research. Oh, I also sell Kamado Joe's, and Traeger's, and Hasty Bakes, and of course, usual suspects. But you're never gonna believe this brisket my boy Wes found. Check this out. At a store for $3.98 a pound. Was it $3.98? Yeah, th oh, I'm sorry, $3.48 a pound. $3.48 a pound. Check this out. Boom, that's a prime, sucker. Prime. And look at that, look how fat that flat is. All right, so we're gonna get this can lit up, fired up, and get ready to cook it up. Hey, don't film me back here. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> got time to lean, got time to clean. This, man, what this does to brisket, we're not gonna inject it, you know? It's a prime, and uh, we're gonna be doing it hot and fast, so, you know? And w honestly, we just really wanna taste the cooker, see what the cooker can do to it. But we are gonna put some brisket mop in the wrap. And boy, what this does to brisket is un freaking real and together. Man, this is gonna be good. I hope so. We'll shut up before I lose all my freaking fire. We'll tuck it in. And now we just wait. It's probably gonna be about two hours before we wrap it. Um, but till then, hey, you wanna get this br brisket mop ready? Heck yeah. Let's get, let's get it ready. All right, so. This is the way how we like to do our briskets. You do your brisket however you like to do it. But uh, I'm telling you right now, what this does to au jus is unbelievable. And I just use about seven ounces or half a bottle of our brisket mop. Uh, links are all down below for all this stuff. And two cans of beef consomme. You gonna open those the El Reno way? Uh, that's all I got. beer too if you want right yeah you can uh, I'll tell you what's really good with this is a nice oatmeal stout you call yourself a redneck you drink oatmeal stout no I, I put it in my beer mop <laughs> not for drinking 
<laughs> and if you don't use all this, put it in the fridge. Save it for your next brisket tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> you know, once this one's all gone, you won't have leftovers. I wouldn't save it for too long. <laughs> but that's it, man. And then as soon as that brisket comes out, uh, as soon as it's ready, we got the bark we like. We may flip it a couple times. We'll wrap it in foil. Boom, hit it. So leave me a comment down below. What do you guys like to put in your brisket wrap? Hey, would you guys work faster if we told you you could have brisket for lunch? Maybe. All right, so it's been right at an hour. Um, I went on ahead and flipped it over just to, you know, kind of get the bark on both sides. But uh, let me show you what I did. Yeah, I just turned it fat side up. So we'll let that side get a little more color and just take it from there. All right, so it's been right at about two hours. She is looking amazing. So we're just gonna get her off. Ooh, yeah, get her wrapped up. All right, so we're gonna get this wrap put off in here. It's the good stuff too. I double foil. Usually I try to do it in one piece, but the wind, uh, the wind got the better half of me. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it everywhere. Come on, man! One hour later. So this is the uh, the little probe that I'm gonna put in here. It's a Thermoworks dot. Um, if you're around here, we sell these in the store. Um, but I'm gonna put it on the put it on the brisket, and I'm gonna set it for 210. I, I just wanted to notify me when it hits 210. It's probably gonna finish around 212, 214, somewhere in there. I'm guessing, but uh, then I'll go by feel after that. So the buzzer went off, but we're just gonna check it for tenderness now. This is how I do it. And it feels good. Man, I think it's done, dude. I think it's done. Let's do it. Let's pull it. It's done at 210. What's this numb nut? You got a new truck, too. Oh, so it was a four hour and 15 minute brisket. Man, you think we ought to separate it and do burn ends? I think we should. We're here. Let's let it cool we'll down. Be here for a quitting time. <laughs> just grab that fat line and just let the knife go. It does. It'll follow it. Boom! Just like that. That's how you do it when you don't got no pants, or you, or you run out of pants. <laughs> That's the way the pros do it. It's the way the, the pros do it. I'm gonna taste this guy. No, oh, dude. Is that it? Mm-hmm. So what I like to do is slice them and then put them back in the jus. In the jus? In the au jus. This is a, this is a four hour and 15 minute brisket. You gotta do the pull test, so. Ready? You get you on on this? Get it, get it? Ready? Show us. Oh yeah. Dude, that brisket mop is worth that. it right here the perfect burn in I'll bet it, it honestly I think if you did anything like these two oh yeah these two do some mopping or just yeah just do something oh, I'm gonna take them home tomorrow I can eat these tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> Hey, as always, I want to thank you for watching, and we are going to actually give this cooker away to one lucky subscriber. So make sure to comment below, pick me, and you never know, you may just be cooking on this thing next. Hey, as always, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Oh, <laughs>